was talking to a few banks and uh, they wanted to launch uh, the small business card. And one of the things that they basically talked about um, is, look, I got to integrate this with my mobile banking application. And I'm like, why? Why do you want to bury this inside a mobile banking application? You should really think about what is the purpose of this card and how does this help the small business or the businesses, you know, optimize their payments and their fund flows, et cetera. So think about this as a tool that you're giving to the to the business, not that I need to embed this into my mobile banking application. That's a huge that's example, a right? Yeah, 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 no, exactly. it's that's that's exactly the right like mind shift you have to go through, right? Because we're so we're so built to sort of compete in this environment of I have a set of distribution channels. I have a set of products that sit essentially on the shelf in those different distribution channels. And I'm launching a new product. I have to find a way to plug that into my mobile banking. And maybe you do, yes. but to your point, the question you need to start with is what experience or outcome am I trying to create for my customer? Exactly. And what's the best way to do that? And the thing that's cool about modern card issuing is we've completely abstracted away all the details. And so like, maybe they don't even need to get a physical card. Maybe it's all powered by one-time virtual cards that are issued by the software when you need it. Or maybe you have to be able to issue multiple cards to different members of a family and the cards have different capabilities that are tuned to the individual members of the family. And there's an app that controls it at a household level. Like there's a million different ways to think about product development when you divorce yourself away from that physical card, mobile banking mindset that we've sort of been stuck in over the last 10 years.